what's up kitty guys it's okay to pop again within the video come back to my channel welcome back to another goddess as banger is your girl tati and welcome back to my channel as you guys can see from the title of this video we are going to be talking about sexting so guys don't mind me when i'm looking that side my key factors are on my pc and it's sitting right there <clears throat> sorry about that i have a little bit of cold but yeah so today we're going to be talking about sexting to be honest, I feel like this is a very relatable topic for many of us, especially females. We all do have that time. You're either in a relationship, long distance relationship, or you stay together where you just, you know, feel in the mood to text your person and tell them dirty stuff and dirty ideas. We call that sexting. Sexting usually leads to phone sex or sneaky links or I'm coming over, depending on the distance of your relationship or... The connection and the relation of you and the person you are texting um usually sexting is beneficial for the alphas could be alpha female or alpha male in the relationship as for us in the lgbti family it's usually beneficial for the studs i think this is a common background that a lot of females have made they have put so much power on masculine females that you would swear that they don't have to do anything they just have to sit there and demand for pictures a lot of females give that authority to masculine females that they want to please them they want to you know they want to give them their all to them they want to submit until that person particularly meets a person like me a person who is not a submissive but a submissive i'm a submissive dominant so i do want to get the same benefits you're getting but i want your dominant energy to be bigger than mine i want it to be more aggressive than mine but all in all if you don't dominate me i will dominate you that's it so it becomes a problem there i feel like for sexting to be okay we need to create a common background based on trust you can't demand what you can't give i mean okay cool I understand stars are not familiar with taking news i understand i understand i'm okay with that i understand but bra drop the t-shirt drop the pants i want to see what's inside you don't have to show me the titties if you're not comfortable because there are a lot of stars with bigger boobs and they're not confident with their bigger boobs or belly fats and stuff like that but find a posture find a pose show me a little bit of something you know initiate make me want to give you what you want without asking for it that's one thing that usually goes wrong in this whole sexting world it's like females are obliged to give but males and alphas are obliged to receive and that's not okay you need to create a common background give me what you want me to give you if it's dick pics honey give me them dick pics if you're not comfortable or confident like a lot of stars are not confident with taking pictures like nudes and stuff that's for the feminine females like we good at that you know we get them popping booty pics titty pics cleavages and stuff like that we okay with that then we can try another platform like video calls we can try video calls you know you can video call me take me through take me with you when you shower you know video calls like we talk and it leads to something and something and something be open to new things if you can't trust me with your body how do you expect me to trust you with mine we live in a world where nudes are being leaked each and every day and how is that gonna work if i'm busy trying to protect myself and you're trying to protect yourself now we're trying to protect ourselves from each other why not just be comfortable with each other trust each other it's not a one-way process it's a two-way process so that's a very big factor and it's a very big red flag someone who demands what they can give says mm -mm, mm -mm. hold it right there mm -mm. second factor please don't brag yo i've met a lot of people who don't know the difference between sexting and bragging don't tell me what you did to your exes what your exes think about your sex game like you know ah, fuck i want to sit this and my ex this and my ex i'm just gonna be sitting there like all right Nigga, you're either in love with your ex or you're too self-obsessed. Those two things can be a very big turn off. Because when once you only see the good in yourself only, you won't recognize my efforts. It will always be about you, 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 you. Like, don't brag. 
be confident but don't brag guys don't be telling me your exes you know you can make a girl squad one round blah 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 nah it shouldn't be like that you should be able to create a common background where we are able to tell each other what we want to do to each other don't involve your past don't involve your what you feel like you can do better like tell me what you want to do to me without making me feel like i'll be cheated on you know don't brag like like i said it should be pleasurable for both sides it's you and i it's not a one-way thing you need to create fantasies in my head you need to get me honey you need to get me in the mood you need to make me want you by just texting imagine if we create that chemistry over just a text how is it going to be when i meet you you know give me something to work with you can work with your positive key factors but also make it aware to me about your weaknesses as well because nobody is perfect make it aware to me about your weaknesses like i want to put you on that wall and stuff like that and stuff like that but also be able to tell me like shit i love giving head more than i love fingering i love strap ones more than this then in my head i will work with that information and fantasize the power of the mind is important i need to fantasize what i reply to you is based on what i see when i close my eyes and think about the information you just gave me like i want to choke you i want to put you on that wall i can't wait to be between those thighs like when i close my eyes i need to feel it like okay girl, you want to choke me oh my god i will reply based on what i see in my fantasy like God, I can't wait for you to have your hands around my neck, wrap my legs around your body, your lips on my titties. I can feel you. I want to feel you. I want to moan for you. You see, this is a reply from what I heard. I am working. We are creating a story together based on what you tell me and what I tell you. It's not based on what you did, who you once did it with, what you so-called good at. You can fuck better than everybody. Oh, no. No, that's a turn off that's a very a big turn off like i said create a trust base we already talked about that lead by example we spoke about that don't include your face in news this is another factor if you are not fully or haven't met the person it's either we are gonna be facetiming and we are both showing what we are showing but you can't expect me to send you full nude pictures and you haven't sent me full nude pictures because that's me putting my body and my reputation at risk. You understand? I need to give you what you give me and I need to be comfortable. This is not a tit for tat thing, but it can be a tit for tat thing if a person demands. Don't demand. Let me move at my pace. Let me be confident. Let me be comfortable with you. Enough to want to do those things without you asking for them without you demanding for them and stuff like that so yeah don't include nudes if you're not confident and comfortable and don't include your ink tattoos and stuff like that you can show what you need to show but mm. and i doubt it it's sexier that way though i like i want to feel confident i want to feel comfortable i want to be able to to do this and do that without you asking me you know so let's create a trust based foundation another thing um be open about your likes guys be open about your likes by being open about your likes i'm not saying that be telling the person that you know i like this and this and this and this only no make it clear that you have an open mind you keeping an open heart i can i haven't done this and this and this but i would love to try it that's you telling me that oh my god i want to experiment with you indirectly like it gives me goosebumps like okay so are you open to us you know doing it like you know would you give it a chance would you give us a thought with that kind of idea it's important it's very important it increases the other person and makes them feel wanted and makes them feel felt a woman wants to feel wanted no matter what the situation is and make it clear that you want me you want me you want this you need this i like to hear that word i you know 
I kept imagining about you. Like, it makes me feel wanted. Fuck, yeah. Okay, so you think about me when I'm when you're alone. You think about me when you think about sex. It just, it creates that confidence in her. Like, to, to be, to give more. So you must be able to do that. First replies, please. Oh my God, I once spoke to this person. We were talking about the whole sexual intercourse thing. And this person would reply like five minutes later. And they're online. Sis. You see a reply, you read it, imagine it, we reply. You can't lead me on and leave me hanging and reply two hours later. I'm not a robot. You don't switch me on and leave me on, on and find me on. I am not a robot. You start and you finish things. You don't just start things and then you leave them hanging and then you want to come back and continue. Who are you? Who are you? I mean, who the fuck are you? You understand that that's just wrong you want to do things at your own time what about my feelings inconsiderate very turn off a very big red flag don't be pushy or demanding this is what i meant don't be pushy or demanding if it comes to pictures if it comes to seeing vagina seeing titties don't be pushy and demand you cannot tell me that why are we doing this if you're not gonna show me like you have your own pussy sis look at it like, you can't be pushy and demanding over my body. You need my consent. I want to be able to give. I want to do this. If I don't want to do this and I don't feel comfortable in it, you need to understand and you need to see your boundaries. Watch your words. The type of words you use, it's important. You can't demand. You can't demand. Show me. Show me this. Show me that. You can't demand you don't demand nudes you don't demand pussy pics you don't demand titties you don't demand that you don't no matter how dominant you are you don't demand that dominance has nothing to do with demanding it has something to do with the power of the mind how you make me want to give what you want without you asking that's dominating me you playing with my mind work with my fucking mind work with make me intrigue my mind put me in the mood make me wanna give it you don't demand you ask you ask demanding is for when we're doing it in person demanding is for when we are together in person you know we can't just meet and fuck we have already passed the sexting phase the flirting phase i know what you like and you know what i like and we open to trying you already have the chemistry that's when you can be like take that off you understand demand is for after you can't just start on a sex thing and you're like take it off show me titties like the fuck no Keep an open mind to your things. This is what I was saying. Like, if you're not confident or comfortable with something, it doesn't mean that you just have to discard the idea. I might be into it and you're not into it. And you need to remember that we are two different people from different backgrounds. We like different things. And yeah, you need to give me, you need to pleasure me as much as you want to be pleasured. So you can't just discard my ideas and my likes and be like, are you crazy? Like, I'm a, I'm a masculine female. I don't do that. I don't do that. Okay, cool. I'm a feminine female. I'm not a toy. I don't do that. I'm not a porn star. I don't do that. So that's going to be like me wanting to not give you what you want because you don't want to give me what I want. So it's like, I'm a feminine female. I'm not a porn star. I don't do that. I don't do that, sis. I don't do that. So we need to keep an open mind because this is a two-way thing, not a one-way thing. It's about you. It's about me. It's about us. It's about connection. It's not about you alone. It's about two people who are pleasuring each other. Oh, so we need to move together move together please move together don't be demanding things you can't give don't be demanding what you can't offer let's move together Sisonk, <whistles> that's how it should be Sisonk, you honey i'm honey we get in that you know what fuck it i wanna i wanna rub myself i wanna uh <sighs> together it's not a you thing. It's not a you. Maybe I'm horny now. Show me something. Like, let's move together. It's like sex. Just because you're horny and now you feel like you can't take it doesn't mean that you have to come and leave me. You either take me along on the joyride or you go and come back and fetch me. Oksalayo.
make sure we both crossed the final line we both crossed the final line no one was left behind and create a trust base you need to be able to be considerate give what you want to get it's very important. We all have been through this. People who are unable to flirt within their flirting country, they're just a bragging. Like, oh my God, I have a big dick. Let me put this big dick in your vagina. Let me suck those titties. I will fuck you better than anybody has ever done it. You know, I I know how to please a woman. I know how, I know how, I know how. I, 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 I. What about me, motherfucker? Did you ask me what I want? It might be on the phone, but it also matters. You know, the conversations we have also leads to me understanding what type of motherfucker you are. And it creates an image in my head of what type of motherfucker I'm going to be fucking. So it's not just, I want gimme, 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 gimme. I want to suck on those titties. The pussy is mine. And, 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 sis, the fuck, that strap is mine too. Duh. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Please don't mind the look. Don't mind the mess. Sis is not feeling well, but the nails are kind of netty. My voice sounds very husky, I know. And I sound like shit. Oh my God. Like a dude. I have this cold. My throat is dry. Let me, let me get to editing so I can upload this very early. Because I suck at keeping a time frame. But I'm going to see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace. Oh.